Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece Chapter 679 review. Now, this chapter, One Piece, overall, it's it's okay. I mean, it's more getting to where we're going. You know, that it, it's more of that stuff. So, this chapter review shouldn't be too long at all. Um, because really, like, it's, it's actually, uh, it's actually kind of simple. Yeah, like, it, it really is. So, overall, this chapter is okay. Um, the first beginning portion is basically Caesar Clown finally realizing that the Straw Hats have infiltrated their base and shit. Um, and there's one scene where some random guy comes into, like, Caesar Clown's, like, you know, like, section. The C section. The C Caesar Clown section. And basically he informs them, you know, like, oh, you know, like, well, the Straw Hats are in the fucking laboratory and blah, blah, blah. And then we see Chopper hauls ass. I mean, he just blitzes. It's like right past that guy. And the thing here is that Chopper, like he, uh, according to Chopper, he found a sedative for the candy so he can give that shit to the kids and the kids can't get off their freaking, you know, get off their drugs and shit. But what I realized was that Monette was staring dead at Chopper like she knew what just happened. And she didn't say a fucking word. And I'm like, uh, what's going on? You know, so, like, it was very strange. I mean, I'm starting to think that Monette has her own agenda. I'm not too sure what's going on with her. But that's what I'm starting to think. I, as of right now, I actually believe that, Mo that Monette has her own agenda. Her, her own purpose in this whole entire scheme. I'm not too sure what. Maybe... Maybe, uh, maybe Don Flamingo told, told her to do something on the side, on the down low. I mean, I'm not too sure. But she should have notified Caesar Clown that some weird raccoon slash reindeer carrying a backpack looking motherfucker just ran past you. But, uh, she didn't, so whatever. And basically, after this point in time, Caesar Clown decides he has his plan to, like, cut off the section and then, you know, like, shoot a cannon in there to let Shino Kuni invade the section that Luffy and the others are in. And then what happens is that Virgo is like, I don't know, Virgo is so, he, he's not fucking weird. Cause it's like at this point, he cause like, <laughs> Caesar Clown really wants like the brokers to be like impressed and shit. And then Virgo is like, you know, like don't underestimate these motherfuckers. And then, you know, like he'll, he said that he's gonna quote unquote, Ripped them to pieces, and then he says, "You know, where's my sword? I can't find my sword." And then, Mo and then Monette's like, "Cause you're not a swordsman." He's like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not a swordsman. Sure shit, shit." But anyway, I'm gonna destroy those stupid brats. I was like, "The fuck was that just now?" Like, what was that? <laughs> like, the dude didn't know that he was a fucking that he wasn't a swordsman. Very fucking weird. I don't know what's going on in Virgo. I have no idea, but I'll take it. Um, and then we have, uh, and then we have the whole entire thing with Luffy. Luffy actually takes out some weird guy, like some weird spider looking dude. And then basically he sees a massive door. Luffy is the first motherfucker through the door. He is the first one. He hauled ass, said, fuck this shit. We going in there, beeline, fuck all you fuckers. And then he runs in there. And what happens is that, like the rest follow, uh, I'm, I, be I believe that Trafalgar Law and, uh, Smoker follow him. Because Law kind of like warps in, like he like it's weird, like war like it's like like one panel is like empty, like like no one's there. The next thing, like a little box and Law like switch places. So I'm pretty sure that Law warped somewhere, and then Smokers in like smoke form, like moving around and shit. And then there's like a big beeping sound and shit. And apparently like the door that Luffy passed through is like closing. So you know, Smoker. I'm pretty sure that Smoker and Law fo uh, followed Luffy. I'm pretty sure they did. But we don't see it. Because then we go back to Zoro, Kinemon, and Brooke. And the Marines are still being stupid as shit, man. Like, surrender, Straw Hats. Surrender. Even though there's a fucking, you know, Shino Kuni right above, like, like right surrounding you motherfuckers. They're like, surrender, Straw Hats. And then Luffy, no, not, not Luffy, uh, Zoro, Kinemon, and Brooke. They pull the fucking triple Fantasia, okay? We got ice on the left, fire on the right, and Zoro doing his thing in the fucking middle. So, yeah, I mean... Actually, it would be cool if, like, Zoro could do, like, wind shit, so... Yeah, I mean, well, then again, the wind shit, I'm assuming, belongs to fucking Monkey D. Dragon. So, you know, but whatever. Basically, and and that was pretty cool right there, and the Marines are still fucking around. Like, I was like, I don't understand why the Marines don't realize that 
the best thing to do for them is not to capture the Straw Hats, but let the Straw Hats do their thing so they can face off against Caesar Clown and Virgo and so on and so forth while they all can escape. I mean, I guess G5 are a bunch of fucking retards for a reason. I mean, they're bold and they're courageous, but they're a bunch of fucking idiots. And then what happens is that Zoro starts to get serious as shit, but Tashigi, she cuts him off. I was like, wow. And then, but then Zoro's kind of cool too, because then Zoro, he's like, I think he goes over a cheater, because this again is the shitty translation. The manga stream is not out yet again. I mean, it's like 11 o'clock at night, and manga stream is still not out, so fuck, but whatever. And, um,. You know, so Zoro, you know, calls her a cheater, quote-unquote cheater, and then throws her to, like, the side and shit. She gets angry, but she brushes that shit off. And then she tells them, like, it's no time. And then she, so she tells the G5, it's no time to fight, we need to go and shit. At the same time, we're seeing, like, Sanji, Usab, Nami, uh, and, like, they're on, uh, what's this, uh, what, what's this guy's name? Uh, uh, Brownbeard. They're on his back and shit, and they're running and shit. And Robin just appears out of nowhere. So I'm like... Where the fuck did you come from? You know, like, it was, it was very weird. Robin comes out of fucking nowhere, and then they all haul out. I mean, because, like, they see that, the, they see that, that, they see that this giant door, I'm fucking stuttering here, they see that, that this giant door is, like, closing slowly and shit, and then, so they're trying to make it in time, and what happens is that, um, because, like, this door is, like, I mean, like, it's, it's a really big fucking door, and what happens is that, the cannon, one of the cannons that's outside actually shoots a cannonball at the laboratory section that Lu that uh, Zoro is in. And it opens a hole in the middle of the fucking roof, and the fucking Shinokuni is like swarming the fuck in. All of them haul ass. At some point, Brownbeard, Zoro, Kinemon, Brook, they do like swan dives inside the fucking section, like, yeah. Mm. They fucking swan dive that shit in, and so is Tashigi. Well, no, well, Tashigi, like, gets thrown in and shit. And she's like, w and, and then she's like, wait a second, but there's still other guys, like, there's still other, like, Marines on, like, the other side and shit. And then the one guy is like, don't worry about us, and, like, everything is cool and shit, man. Like, you're our captain, and then we need to protect you and shit. And then, and then this one guy literally dies like this, you know, like, mmm. It kind of reminds you of that one scene back in, like, old One Piece, where, like, when, like, Zoro... And Nami and Vivi were like fighting like Mr. Three and shit. And Mr. Three had like the wax ability. He, he, he made that like giant candle thing. And Zoro and Nami, they were being like engulfed in like wax and shit. And Zoro decided to die with like a, with, with, like, a cool ass like pose and shit. With like the katana like this and shit. So, you know, I mean, kind of reminds me of that shit. So these guys went out on some G shit. They're like fucking, mm. you see, like that, that right there. That is an appropriate thumbs up when you're about to die and you got like a G. Yeah, you know, good, good shit. All right, good shit. Uh, and that right there is the end of the chapter. Cause then, uh, what happens is that there's a monitor, and then uh, I think his name, yeah, Caesar Clown. He sees that they escaped and shit, and then he's like, oh, ho, ho, Shiro, 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 you trash. You're not gonna escape and shit. And that right there is the end of the chapter. So overall, the chapter it was okay. Uh, the, the pacing was fine. It wasn't great. It was fine. Uh, the funny scenes were there too. I'm really, like, I don't know why, but the thing that really caught my attention was Monette. I, I, I have no idea why. Like, the fact that she didn't notify the others about Chopper's presence, that to me is kind of like, you know, maybe she was the one who sent Chopper the letter. Maybe she's going to join the fucking crew. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. And according to Caesar Clown, Monette transforms into the winged bird type thing. I think I, I think that Monet's a Zoan. I'm not too sure. I, I'm really not too sure. Like, like Monet to me is like a fucking mystery. But I think, I really do think that Monet is going to join the crew. I don't know why. It's just that I feel that way. I mean, she's a female. She has a Zoan ability. Uh, I think someone told me that she's actually like an astronomer. I, I'm not too sure. Someone told me that shit. But I, when I looked on the wiki uh, like today, I, I didn't see that. So I'm not too sure. Maybe she is. She could be a good asset to the team because she can fly. And, you know, flying is always good. So, I mean, I'm just saying is that maybe. I mean, because normally I don't say shit. Like, I'm not going to say because Kingimon is not going to join the fucking crew. Neither will Aokiji. 
I don't know why, but some people believe that fucking Aokiji would join the fucking crew. But I guess the title for this chapter review is gonna be One Piece Chapter Blah 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 What Is Monet's Agenda? Cause like, I don't know why, but to me, she is like the somewhat centerpiece of this chapter. Even though it's the G5 Marines, fuck them. She could have notified Virgo and others about Chopper, but she fucking didn't. So, what's her agenda? So that being said, King Lightning, be sure to rate, comment, and as always, subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Have a nice day. Monet, she better join the fucking... Oh yeah, by the way, by the way, uh, I'll put the video link here somewhere. I did a video discussion based on the six moons of One Piece. If you haven't seen it, look in the description, look in the video somewhere. So I'm out. Peace. Signing off.